Once you've configured security logs, we used group rules for the configuration, and it's actively logging events. It's still only half a battle won. The other half is browsing through the logs on a regular basis. Many people enable the monitoring of large number of events in their systems, but few actually read the logs regularly. As we said in one of the previous lectures, the fundamental benefit the version strategy gives us is that we have more time to detect an active attack attempt. During this time, we need to be able to browse through the event logs. If you only catch up with your logs once every two months, this makes for a very optimistic assumption. Unfortunately, there's a very large amount of data in the logs and the used file format is quite unsightly. This is why nobody ever wants to read the logs. A way out could be provided by the use of additional tools, for example, such as Log Parser. The parser enables us to retrieve data not only from event logs, but also from system logs and other applications. This can be done through pseudo SQL queries. You can specify your points of interest, the computer from which logs are to be queried, and the types of event information that should be retrieved. This versatile tool also generates collective reports and presents them as HTML reports. Another feature of the utility groups certain event types. Selected groups can be later viewed in an output chart form. The solution might help you profile normal user activity in your systems. You'll be able to view the logons and logon hours and also see the average number of successful and failed attempts to access specific files. If you have a security baseline like that at your disposal, you'll be more comfortable in detecting all deviations from the pattern. If there's no baseline, untypical user behaviors or a change in the system behavior will be a lot harder to pinpoint. You'll not be able to tell if there is an attack or if the anomalies are simply due to increased user activity. For example, a surge that occurs in the last week of a month. Having collected the data, you can audit user activity, which means checking whether they conform to your security policy. The logged events will help you detect various attacks, including external attacks. You can also investigate an attack and prepare evidence. This topic will be covered in greater length in a minute. The above picture shows an example of a query that retrieves events of a selected type from the security log and filters them using an SQL expression. In this case, we're interested in administrator account logons.